Well, today is the 21st of November. It's Sunday. I'm going to show uh, you guys how to uh, card wool to get it so it can be spun. These are the carders. You can kind of see the rows of little teeth. I've had these for a long time. And I brought the, I'm over at Terry's house, apartment. I brought uh, the Navajo Indian brown wool to card. And this is the way I do it. It's like pulling the fibers onto the teeth of the just letting them grab the fibers and pulling it. And then you take the other one. And And they're pretty well combed out. It's fluffier than it was. And after I, I just put a little bit on so I can add more to it. And do the same process again. And what this is doing is combing the fibers so they are all going the same way and if there's a little bit of debris little pieces of vegetation in the wool it's also helping to clean that and then I would take this off and you just pull And it just kind of wants to stay together. I'll put that there. And then the other one. Usually I would load this up about four times. So when I would pull this off, there would be a lot more than what's on here right now. And I would put these down. And where am I at? This is the combed sheep fleece. I'm going to try to take some different angles, positions of this. What I'm showing you now is the process of actually twisting the yarn and making the thread the thread that went through it first was called the lead thread and the wool twists around it and now it's just twisting around itself as I pull it out If 
I do it with my left hand, the hand I'm doing it with it now, I'm not used to doing it, so it doesn't work very well. It'd be like you're trying to write with your left hand when you're right-handed, so I'm doing it with my left hand so that you can kind of see it. We'll stop and I'll show you what it's doing. As I pump this, this cord is making this turn around and it's making the thread twist and roll up on this thing called a bobbin as, I, as it's doing it. And depends how much yarn I pull out from this hank of carded wool it can be real thin or it can be thicker. I'll make it thicker. That's kind of thicker. Or I can make it thin. When I'm spinning yarn, it's usually about this thick. Then it broke. When I was spinning it real thin, it keeps on twisting and twisting and twisting. And if it's a real thin place, then it will just break. And that's what happened there. Before I stop, I wanted to... Uh, these are the other things, you know, that I carded the other day. But I also talked about uh, spinning a roving, and the roving is so much more easier to spin. This is the way it comes. When I bought this, this is mohair roving. It came just like this. I didn't have to card it. It came in two or size of a rope. And roving spins much more faster, easier. I can make it thick. I can make it thin. I guess that's it though for now. I guess I think what I'll do is just take the camera off of here and just show you the other parts of it. I was pushing this pedal up and down with my foot and that turns this big wheel at the bottom and there's a cord hooked to it and it actually turns the spindle that the yarn is winding onto. And I'll hold this and try to do it with one hand, but this is not really going to work very well at all. I'll just unspin some of it and pretend that it's been spinning. Yeah, you know, I've spun that. Okay. So from here, you know, I'm spinning. And I would keep doing this, but this is the roving itself that's being twisted because I don't have the other hand to do it right. Well, I guess that's all for now. Oh, one more thing, Miss Hayden, we took Miss Hayden to the veterinarian the other day because she wasn't doing very well. And while we were there, the veterinarian said that we should put her to sleep. And I told them that we would like to take the cat home for about five days before we did that that would be all right if they could give us some pain medicine and stuff 
and they did. So she's here. It's been about a week. She's doing okay. When we took her, she was really having some kind of a problem, but that's over with now, so I think we're just going to keep her around until we decide it's time for her to be put down. I, right now, I don't think it is. She's doing okay.